Right, I'm down on the beach this evening. Now, I'm down, um, well, I've come down with a friend of mine. Um, we've both got two rods in the water, just set up. Uh, nothing's happened yet. Now we're fishing the tide two hours of the ebb, and then we're gonna fish two hours of the flood. Uh, well, at least I am anyway. I think Ross may leave a bit earlier. Now, one rod, I'm using the uh, sliding ledger rig that I use most of the time. And the other rod, I've got a three hook flapper, um, both baited with some lugworm, uh, lugworm and ragworm that I dumped this morning. And yeah, chance of anything tonight, bass, bream, possibly a gilt head. Um, yeah, a few species can turn up here. It's probably gonna be a bit quiet when we get to slack water. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get a bit of action. So um, if anything happens, I'll put the camera on. I'll go through the rigs and the bait in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you up to date. So see you in a bit. So first fish of the evening, little whip. Nothing to write home about. I'm gonna get him unhooked and get him straight back. Well, Ross's rod just went absolutely ballistic. He's just had a cracking bite. Just trying not to blind him. But I reckon I'm calling bass. We were literally just having a chat and his reel went screaming, line went slack. Does it feel all right? Do you want me to go down? That's it, yeah, here we go. Oh, it actually looks quite small. Oh, it's very small. It is a little bream. Well, the way that reel went off, that seemed a lot bigger, eh? Covering quite big, <laughs> yeah. This is getting you a better Why show there. But yeah, one little black bream. Well, we finally have a fish, and it is one little bass taking on the mixture of lugworm and ragworm. There we go, lovely little bass that was taken on the bottom hook. And I'm gonna get this guy unhooked and get him back. But finally, we're getting a few bites now. Ross has had his, uh, his bream, now we got a bass, a little whip, so yeah. Hopefully there's some more around. Right, well, pretty happy about that. It's just a little bass. But uh, at least it's a fish. And it's perked us up a little bit now. Ross has just had a, another little whip. Um, I'm yet to get that rod back out, but I've got to rebase it now. Send it back out. I'm running a little bit low on, on worms, but I've also got some scallop frills a bit of squid with you. Nothing happening on the uh, left hand rod yet. That's got one big ragworm on. But I will have to check that soon, see if it's still there. But I'm gonna get that other rod baited up and get it back out there. So uh, I forgot to mention earlier, when Ross had that um, black bream, it, um, at first, we thought it was a lot bigger fish than, uh, than what it was. We were both just having a chat, and his reel just screamed. It went zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
and uh, just see what happens over the next sort of 45 minutes as the tide's um, on the push. And then I'll either call it a night. Um, I could try somewhere else, but it's been been here for a fair few hours now, so that could be it for today. I might go out again tomorrow. But yeah, like I said before, if anything else happens, I'll put the camera back on. Right, I've not been filming too much because uh, me and Ross have been chatting away pretty much all night. But um, he's just packed up, he's left. It's just gone, uh, I think about 20 past 11. So um, we're into the first hour of the flood now. Um, I'm gonna stay around for probably another hour, maybe a little bit longer, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, we've been having quite a fair few bites. I've lost two fish in the shallow. Um, one of them I think was a bass, <coughs> and one of them I think was a bream. But uh, I had two solid bites. Me and Ross were just stood here chatting away. We both saw the bite, and uh, I hooked into it, got it, well, got one of them all the way in, and then it came off at the very last minute. I didn't even get to see what it was, but I think it was a bream. Um, and the other one was a, was a bass, which I think I made out in the shallows. But it just must have not been hooked properly. Um, I'm pretty much out of worms now. I've got a few left, but they're really not that great. They're very small. Um, so I'm using, at the moment, I've just got scallop frills on both rods. Now I'm going to leave those baits out there for about 20 minutes. And then as the tide's pushing up, I'll reel them in, move back and uh, stick some fresh bait on and get it out there. But yeah, not the most productive night, but at least we've had a couple of fish here and there. Just hopefully with the tide turning, it um, stirs things up a little bit and brings a few more in. So if anything happens, I'll put the camera back on and uh, yeah, you'll be the first to know. Well, I was just about to say, I'm gonna call it a night. But I keep getting little taps on the left hand wheel. I've got a feeling it could be just a little whip. And it could be hooked already. So I'm going to see what that is. But uh, I don't think I'm going to stay much longer. It's just gone 12 o'clock. Um, I could stay out. It's a really nice night. So I could stay out for a little while longer, but I might get up tomorrow and go out with the lure rod. So I uh, don't want to have too much of a late night. But if, uh, if nothing else happens with what's going on on that rod now, um, yeah, at least we had a few fish. Nothing big, obviously, um, but at least it beats a blank. The last three or four times uh, me and Ross have gone out, we've uh, actually caught nothing whatsoever. So. At least it was good just to catch something. Um, I didn't go through the rigs before, but uh, I ended up um, for most of the session using um, sliding ledger rigs on both rods. I had a bit of a tangle in the uh, three hook flapper. So uh, the sliding ledger rigs, I'm pretty sure I've gone through before in uh, previous videos. So yeah, that's all for, uh, for today. Um, once again, thanks very much for watching. There'll be plenty more to come. We'll be doing a lot of fishing over the next couple of weeks. So hopefully we catch a lot of fish and uh, can make some good videos and yeah, put them on the channel. But until then, see you out on the rock sometime soon.